Ready? One, two, three. We're Arena, and you're watching Live Rock. I hope the piece of music you just heard gave you a warm feeling inside. Because as you can see, it is very cold. And yes, we are outside. Why? Well, it is the last day of 2010, December 31st. And I am going to close the year with the band that made the biggest impression on me this year. And the song you just heard is from not from the album we are going to discuss but from a f an album before that um, that's this one bring it a little closer well maybe you've seen the name it's anima mundi and this album is called jagannath orbit it's the previous album but i found it interesting enough to bring it to your attention now the album we're going to discuss is of course this one the way Again by Anima Mundi. We'll bring it in closer. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now why we do it outside? Because I want to show you the difference between uh, us here and this band. Because this band is from Cuba. And Cuba, well, in my opinion, warm country, you know, Caribbean country. So here we are, snow and ice, very cold outside. Now, while we go inside to heat up a little bit, just enjoy the first track of the album The Way by Anima Mundi and it's a really beautiful opening for me I mean I want to play you well I would prefer to play the whole album because it is really a stunning album the first track is called Time to Understand so enjoy it we're going inside inside now here's a little bit warmer um, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to show you and I hope you enjoyed the music so far as I said Anima Mundi really impressed me they are from Cuba and well if you know a little bit about the political situation in Cuba you will understand that they're not too happy with rock whether it's progressive or not so it's not very easy 
for the band um, to make their music and especially to bring the music to other people. Um, for one, they have very limited internet access. So it's very difficult for them. Nevertheless, this is not their first album. Uh, this is actually their, well, their third official album. They're doing quite a good job uh, because this one is really a beautiful. When I first heard it, it's like, okay, it's nice music. And I started to listen to it more and uh, start doing a little bit of research on the band. And it really grew on me when I finally realized that this is absolutely a brilliant album. Um, and definitely my favorite album for this year. You heard the first track of the band. You heard a track from the previous album. Um, why not meet the band? Because especially for this review, the band recorded a clip to introduce themselves. Which is, uh, has been not easy for them, but they managed to do it. So please meet Anima Mundi. watching live pro and we are Anima Mundi. As you probably know, we are a band from Cuba. This is our rehearsal place and let me tell you, uh, our band has 14 years from creating but this formation has only 5 years more or less. Let me introduce you to the guys. Okay, in the right corner there we have the beautiful keyboard player Virginia Pelaza. A little closer here we have Jose Manuel Govin. He's our drummer and our bodyguard. He's, good. He's so strong. To our left is Jaroski Corredera, father of two, and a bass player. And last but not least, Roberto Diaz. He's our director, leading guitar, backup vocals, composer, everything. And this guy is Carlos Sosa, our singer and frontman. Okay, uh, Anima Mundi has been playing progressive music in Cuba for almost 15 years. But Cuba is not a rock land at all. So our musical career has been not easy, but music is stronger and it has keep us together. So I would like to thank from the bottom of our hearts for this great opportunity to reach the European audience. So thanks again and new albums is making in this precise moment. And you are watching Life Prop and Stay Tuned. This was the band and I'm very happy that they participated in this review in this way. Now let's move on to some more music. Um, the Way, this one, yeah, this one, <laughs> oh, too close, sorry for that. Um, the Way consists of um, four songs. You heard a part of the first one. The second track is the epic one of the album. It clocks a little over 26 minutes and it's an absolutely brilliant track. It's beautiful, it has everything you want in a prog rock epic. It's called Spring Knocks on the Door of Men and well it consists of five acts and we're gonna play you a little piece of it.
ban in Cuba, uh, you have limited possibilities, limited resources. Um, also, uh, when people move, it's very difficult. So, uh, over the years, the band has uh, been founded in 1969. So, they've been around for almost 15 years. And they had a lot of lineup changes. Because it's very difficult when people move, you know, to keep tight as a band. But they have a very good lineup right now. And we really hope that this lineup will be also be able to uh, perform outside of Cuba in 2011. So let's hope for that because, well, they've really um, released a beautiful album. Um, well, I can't say enough that it's beautiful because it absolutely is. Um, because of their limited possibilities, they couldn't use all the elements they wanted. So a lot of work has been done by keyboard player Virginia. She really pulls it off on this album. Her parts really give it the grand sound that you hear on the album. Um, of course, the rest of the band is very tight. Uh, Roberto Diaz is a very good songwriter. He wrote some really good songs. So um, I'm going to play a piece of every song on this album. And um, the third song on the album is Flying to the Sun. music sounds how of course this one sounds the way because this is a must-have if you buy one album buy this one this is really a worthwhile CD to have um, as I said it's it's um, they have limited resources they also have of course a limited access uh, their influences are well what's allowed in the country of course uh, they have a lot of classical influences and of course they have some uh, through the internet they managed to get uh, some more knowledge of the other prog bands around and despite it all well their progressive sound I find them uh, unique um, of course you could say well it's not the most original music maybe not but it's very entertaining it's very pleasurable pleasurable to listen to um, so what more do you want I think this is definitely the best album of 2010 at least. For me it is. I hope you like it just as much and if you don't know it please listen to it and buy this album. Support this band and hopefully we can get them um, out of Cuba onto Europe or America or anywhere else in the world to play their music in front of the audience. Now I'm gonna leave you with the last track of this album. Um, it's Cosmic Man and this was the best album for me for 2010, the last video review of 2010 and 2011 will bring you much more music and much more video reviews. So see you next year. Bye.